I remember you and me before we knew our destiny. Never walked the road before, don't you long to search for more. To another video, and today, I'm sorry about my shaky camera. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about this little necklace that I made for some of my models. They're really simple to make. Um, I'm debating selling them and if you guys would be interested in seeing stuff like this on like Craigslist or eBay, uh, can you let me know down in the comments? I would greatly appreciate it and I can show you some of the other uh, horses I have for them and I will go do that now. So as you can see, these are some of my other choices. Uh, I have plain white. Uh, I'm not really sure what horse color or mold this would really go on, but I just put this on my old iron sides for now. Because I think that just looks the best on her. I think I would call it mostly a neutral color, along with black, probably. But, um, you could probably use it on whatever model you'd like. And then, as you can see... I actually did not buy this guy. I won him in a trade. Why did I say won? I, <laughs> I traded for him uh, from my Grulla Pinto. And I used blue for chestnut because I felt like that went with him the best. And these are just my suggestions. Um, and this is like a double loop instead of the single loop. Wait, no, that's a double loop. <sighs> this one was a single loop. Um, but... And then I didn't have like a brownish or like a burnt umber, I guess you could call it, for bay. So I used orange and black. I know it looks kind of Halloweeny or Orioles, but it actually goes really well with his coat, I think. And this is my American Pharaoh. Um, still, I think it looks really good on him. And this is also a double loop. And I just use like nail polish to like make sure that... Okay. Um... You can just stay down. Uh, I just use nail polish to make sure the knots don't come undone. And that's why they're a little harder. They don't scratch the models, which is good. But, yeah. So, that's all I have for you guys today. And I want to apologize for the short video I had last time. Uh, I just wanted to post that real quick to get that out. Um, I have some... I have a briar custom ready but it's not very good so i'm not expecting it to sell for much but um yeah and i'll be posting a new video soon that's called name that briar and basically what i'm going to be doing is picking names for my briars because i haven't come up with names for a lot of them and i need your guys help so yeah see you in the next video bye <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about- oh, jeez, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about this necklace that I made for my Britannica, um, and if it is something that you guys would like to see how to make, or if I should sell them, what you- whatever you guys think. Oh, jeez. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about this- Oh. This. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry. I'm doing something. Uh, no, I'm going to redo that.